We are stepping into the Charlie Wilson's KitchenAid kitchen here. You know, local chefs are coming together during the holiday season to help their hospitality families out in need. And it's all part of a giving campaign that's being spearheaded by Apron this month. I'm joined by Gary Fox, Apron Inc. president, Chef Jeremy from Bourbon's Bistro, and Desiree and her son, Kyson. They, Desiree, you work at Bourbon's Bistro, and I know you had a direct impact. You felt this campaign right okay. firsthand. But uh, Gary, you know, kick things off while things are cooking <laughs> here, and I'm loving all this absolutely uh, what is this holiday campaign that, the that holiday you have? campaign well if for those who don't know apron is a, a, a charity that helps individual um, uh, employees in the independent restaurant community mm -hmm. so this is our big holiday campaign to earn, bring us money and and really help us out uh, last year we made about 20,000 off of it we're hoping to make at least 25 or 30,000 and it goes straight out our from our bank account to uh, to those employees, yeah. and we're highlighting Desiree, and we're actually highlighting yes. Kyson this year. Yes, uh, Kyson has been such a such a hero of mine. Absolutely, he, uh, he was in a terrible accident, and a dog really really got him this mm -hmm. year. And we've been able to highlight them, and really, and they've been helping us so much, and we. We so appreciate it. Uh, you know, guys, thanks for coming in. Yeah. And Desiree, I mean, talk a little bit about how this really, you, you've seen this firsthand, how uh -huh. this truly helped your family. Yes, so um, when he was attacked, um, he was hospitalized and had to have emergency surgery. And while we were in there, um, my husband and I were discussing like what was our next step gonna be because we really needed to take some time off for him. And um, we reached out to Gary. I had actually reached out to him during the COVID pandemic and Apron had helped us then. And um, he got back to me within probably 24 hours um, saying that they would help us. And for the first time since he had been hurt, we felt a sense of relief yeah. that we knew that we could take the time that we needed with him and just relax and know that our bills are going to be taken care of thanks to them and so we really can't thank them enough yeah. for everything that they've done for our family this year and it's great to have kyson here today you know it must have been great too to have like mom and that dad there with you when you were going through surgeries and made you probably feel really good and safe <laughs> we, we have a fun thing planned for you this morning is that i understand chef jeremy is going to kind of talk you through uh yeah. the dessert one of your featured desserts that you're going to have you're cooking up kind of a new year's eve uh dish a sneak peek of what you're going to have peek of our new year's and eve. a special thing that tyson kyson can help with so <laughs> for the for the new year's eve special we're going to do um, a classic dish it's asabuco typically made with veal but we're using some pork here and we've got some um homemade ricotta and goat cheese gnocchi. Oh, we, let me just tell you about the smell of this. <laughs> Gary and I are over here going, oh my goodness, watch, how, watch, watch, watch out, watch out. Oh my goodness, you know, it smells. A little, tiny bit of water to make it, Look make at sure it, it's cooked through. Serving for one right here? Serving for one, this Whoa. is one of the bigger pieces, but asabuco is a very uh, delicate, tender dish, uh, and it's got a little bit of bone marrow right here, so yeah. that really makes it nice. And then this ricotta gnocchi we made, with goat cheese and chives. Gnocchi. I'm starting on Monday so fancy. Yeah. I really am. I'm feeling really around. fancy here on Great Day Live this morning. Are you taking reservations now for New Year's Eve? Or, Absolutely. or how can folks, yeah, if, if you're they're seeing to get this in, and you've totally reeled them in. <laughs> if you're trying to get in for New Year's, it now is the time. Yeah, uh, you don't want to wait like... around too long. But this. Uh, Look at that. Beautiful. And we got a few more Beautiful accompaniments. Bib. Okay. I like to put some of these pea shoots on there. Oh, look at that. I can't wait to get to dessert. And then, but I mean, you mentioned too, just, I mean, apron means a lot to you too and the great work that you're doing because you're able to help absolutely. those within the hospitality, your family, essentially, and to be able to know that you're helping them and. Um, well, we are a very small going. restaurant and we are a, a, really a family. I mean, yeah. Desiree's worked there for quite a while. I have, most of our staff has been around for quite a while. Um, and but that's right, that's what it feels like. It feels yeah. like you can call up your family and say, hey guys, you know, I really need help right now. Exactly. Um, you know, I want to be with my son. We need to get this done. And, and yeah. man, right there. Yeah. 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 We've, had, really we've had Apron Strings help us with a, a few different employees over the years. Um, and it's always, it's always something that's totally unexpected that people sincerely appreciate and absolutely need. It's almost um, like everybody's rainy day account. All right, time yeah. for dessert. All right, so dessert, we got a s'mores brownie over here. Thanks oh to our pastry Boy, chef. Just, uh, okay. We're gonna let Kaisen do the 
torching of the Tyson's marshmallow. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Don't I'm in nervous. school for this. <laughs> Y'all messed up. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Y'all messed up. Yes. Tyson. Oh, Somebody gonna yeah. die. There you go. All right, that's good. That's good. There you there go. go. S'mores brownie, pork asabuco with homemade ricotta and goat cheese gnocchi. Oh, you got Tyson. Right? Uh, Tyson. Ty that, that was very impressive. This is a fun way to miss school, right? I uh, uh, also want to mention Chef in a Box. You were one of the original restaurants to participate in yeah, Chef in a Box, and I think that's coming up again. We want to It is. It's, that. it's coming up in two that. weeks. Uh, the restaurant this time is Noche. Yes. Um, Noche and Noche. Uh, what it is is you uh, call into the restaurant, uh, and they have a, a dinner for two. I'm not sure what they're serving this time. I'm sorry. They pick like but an entree, an appetizer. And usually a dessert. And you get a $25 gift certificate, and it's $50. Apron gets $25. They get $25, so they're, they're not out of any deal. money. And it's a wonderful And a wonderful meal, meal too, right? Um, thank you, everybody, for stopping thank you so in. Much Gary, always great to see you. Kaisen, nice to meet you. What a day you've had, right? And we're happy that you're feeling better, too. And I mean, Desiree, and thank you, Chef Jeremy. Uh, once again, if you want to get on board the New Year's Eve dinner, you better hurry up, make those reservations, of get course. Our space is limited. Uh, if you want to help out uh, everything, all the great work that Apron is doing, you know, this may reach out to your heart and say, you know what, I just want to give them a donation. And, and, and you will happily take it. And it's <laughs> aproninc.org. Aproninc.org.